Read the tool, friends. I got it. And I'm Josh. And I'll come back to the window of course. So, Vosmeister. Manigarm. We've checked out Manigarm from this human suggesting stuff. That's cool stuff. Now, Cataclysm, we already know, and it's radically different. So, you can do the feely feels, but this should, like, really get necks moving and make noise. So, I know, I know the whole Meditations album from Cataclysm and a few stuff from the one before it. And I haven't heard Unconquered yet, which is the newest one. And I don't know which one this is from, but I haven't heard it. I know Narcissist and the Black Sheep, and I think that's it. Okay, so and they're both is... just insane on headbang and groove. Yeah, so I'm I'm getting ready for some movement. You got your warm up done. You ready for a workout? Yes. Those were supposed to crack a lot. It's <laughs> climactic. You ready? Just go. No. Give it. It's a lot more diverse. It's a lot more kind of atmospheric and ominous and dark. It's not just full on anger. It's, yeah. It's got a bit of, it's got a bit of this tragic feeling to it with the clean guitars and I think with the lyrics too. Paradise for parasites. I like that. 
I don't. I, like I don't know one. if it's got any sort of climate change theme or anything, but it does look kind of gloomy and apocalyptic either way, and it has that really tragic, bitter, angry like kind of tone. But my God, the riffs, man! Yes, this is such a proper riff-heavy band. I I, re- I really kind of sometimes feel like I should listen to more Cataclysm just for the headbands. How has no one given us this song in a Try Not to Headbang compilation yet? Yeah. Well, we haven't done that many. Still, I think, straight up on the first listen, this is one of the most headbangable songs I've ever heard. Yeah, definitely. And the production, it's got like this really thick, fat, juicy production. Thick, fat, juicy. Okay, Uh, I think... I think uh, I saw some flashes of artworks, and I think this might be from the album of Gods and Men, which is the same one as the Black Sheep. So, yeah, that one also had the proper chunk. We go! Okay, it's it's of ghosts and gods, not of gods and men. The album, I had that wrong with something else. Of of, of ghosts, of ghosts of. and gods. <sighs> okay, that that felt pretty tragic. It felt a bit more uplifting on the second half. I feel <laughs> not necessarily to me, especially the end with the coffin. It felt like yeah, a, but... it felt like a bloody eulogy to me. Yeah, but it said something like, I will, I will be alive until the end of time. So it's something like, it, to me, it felt a bit like, despite all the bullshit. That's kind of how I felt it. Like there was a very strong despite all the bullshit in the second half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, 
I think I am getting a bit of a willingness to face the brutality of the times kind of thing. Like stand yeah. up and own it. I, yeah. I think it has a bit of that as well, but I wouldn't know, but Okay. Stupid comparison. Other than bands like Insomnium or stuff like that, which is m like Finnish melodic death metal, like the whole shebang. Uh, other than that northern style, I think the only album that's like death metal that I would hear get to this level of like theatrical tragedy sort of thing is Death Atlas by Cattle Decapitation. Mm. Yeah, that's a cool comparison. Like, like when it when it started off, I was just like, "Yeah, let's go, let's you know? go." But but like the "let's go" had a lot more baggage along with it, and I yeah. didn't get that from previous Cataclysm songs. On I tried, they were all just angry, but this mm -hmm. was like seriously, seriously deep and yeah. really creative with the flow of it. It wasn't verse, chorus, verse, chorus. It has the uh, the first part that was all chunk, and then. It had that atmospheric dip just after we let it go that was like really, I guess, I don't know how to put it, like the kind of soundtrack to sinking in thought or to observing unpleasant realities and taking them in. It had that tragic sort of sense to it. And then on that, it started building up and building up. And yeah, and it really felt that way because it moved out of that atmospheric bit uh, and brought in the riffs and the like almost tremolo like lead guitars, but last beat. <coughs> but it also kept the the clean guitar melody. Yeah, yeah. So the, that was really cool. The fact that the cleans kept peering through show, shows I don't know. It was definitely shows how good the production on this was, which I don't think I have to mention already. The chunk, but yes. uh, it it it's kind of like. You sink into that mood and then you carry it with you as you go out into the anger and into the roller coaster, like blast beats and pedals, and then it opened up again. And, and, and it, I, I don't know, that whole motion was like a tidal wave. Like it came slowly and kept going and kept going, and then it was brutal. And then out of that, it started clearing out into like the open epic thing. I've been talking a lot. You got anything to say? No, not really. You kind of stole it from me. Snaggy, snaggy, snag, snag, snag. Shut up! <laughs> no! Shut up! No! Let's go! If you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay and love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Of course,